In about a week, Samsung will showcase the Galaxy S6. But here are six things about the new device or the latest flagship from Samsung that you need to know. Let's find out. Samsung has been sending out uh, tweets, videos, you know, leaks out there about the new Galaxy S6. But here are six things, as I mentioned, that I think are very important and I think we will see in the device come March 1st. Number one. Now the first thing about the Galaxy S6, especially from all the tweets Samsung has sent out, are actually two things together, I will put an improved camera and improved performance. So the Galaxy S6 will improve the, from the camera from the Galaxy S5. And also will take, I think, will take a step of, above the Galaxy Note 4. Now, we do know that it's gonna have a minimum of a 16 megapixel camera because of course, it should match the camera from the Galaxy Note 4. And um, we do know that Samsung is going to improve on the optics in terms of software and some, uh, some other features on the camera. So we know this will be a very improved camera and should be one of the better cameras or actually, I would say, matching the best camera on the Android uh, smartphone. So I think there we're gonna see some really cool improvements, especially with Samsung making headways with their standalone cameras like the NX30 and the NX1. Also, performance in terms of actually the processor. Uh, we've heard word that Samsung might be going with an Exynos processor fully, which is actually the in-house uh, processor for all the uh, Galaxy S devices, S6 devices worldwide. So it's not gonna be separated between Korea and the rest of the world. And uh, from what we know from the latest uh, Exynos processor, it's that it's a 14 nanometer chip, which means you should get faster performance and also uh, will be able to get uh, cooler temperatures. So basically you can have it in a small case frame altogether which is very important it brings up my second point number two design so the Galaxy S6 is going to be redesigned. As I mentioned also, having that uh, you know smaller die uh, for a processor, which means you can actually fit in a smaller, of course, space. And we've heard word that the Galaxy S6 will be 6.9 millimeters, but also Samsung tweeted out this image, uh, which basically kind of points to a very thinner frame. We also know that they are going to continue the design language started from the Galaxy Note 4 and the Alpha, which had metal into it. So word is that we will have uh, all metal uh, design, or at least a, a mostly metal phone. And also we've also got this new tweet as well as video showcasing um, that it will be uh, borderless and also metal included. So you can expect to see a really fresh new design for the S6, even though we have case uh, cases with a case fit, it doesn't actually tell us what the design of the phone is. So that'll be very interesting to take note. Number three, Samsung Pay. That's what I'm gonna call it, because Samsung is looking to invest more into mobile payments. Now we know that's a big thing, Apple Pay has taken off fairly well, but Apple Pay is only in 5% of actual retail stores, or actually consumer reach, if you wanna put it that way. Samsung Pay, I think, will be really different. One of, uh, because of two things. One, Samsung is going to upgrade the fingerprint sensor to actually, have, uh, to actually uh, allow for a larger fingerprint reader, so you don't have to press and not swipe, similar to what you have on there on your iPhone, but also what you're going to see here is that because Samsung has uh, gone ahead and made a purchase to buy a company called Loop Pay, which allows you to use mobile payments on up to 95% of retailers out there. So even though you have NFC on, of course, and you will have NFC on the Galaxy S6, what Loop Pay allows you to do is also use regular magnetic swipers, which is regular credit card swipers. Now, I won't talk too much about Loop Pay, uh, but you can check out the video uh, down here in the uh, lower left-hand corner. It gives you a really good idea what Loop Pay does and why Samsung bought this company. But I think it's gonna be big. I think it's something that a lot of people will find more, very easy and usable, plus it gives them the flexibility of bridging that gap between magnetic strip and NFC payments um, altogether. Number four, TouchWiz. Now TouchWiz is going to see a radical change. We've heard word from Samsung that TouchWiz is going to be stripped down. Of course, there's been rumors about that too for a while, but Samsung's really looking at making TouchWiz a little bit more stream, streamlined and also better performance, you know, to, to go with this faster processor, to give you a really good overall feel. We've heard word that TouchWiz will actually feel closer to stock Android with certain features still there. So I do want to see multitasking still stay there uh, if Samsung is going to strip it down. But 
take away some of the bloat and also unnecessary software. So stripped down touch is run Android 5.0 or 5.1, whichever uh, Android version will be available then, I think will be really interesting and cool. And I think a lot of people will like that, especially all the problems of what uh, we want to see from touch rays over the last couple of years. Number five. Microsoft apps. With TouchWiz actually streaming down and Samsung looking to actually take away some of its blow, um, it's, it's, it's actually interesting to hear that Microsoft applications will be coming to Samsung devices. This is of course because of Microsoft and Samsung coming to an agreement over their little spat they had over the last six months, which what that means is that you're going to get Office apps on uh, Galaxy S6 and you're also gonna get OneDrive. And I won't be surprised that Microsoft will bundle probably 100 gigabytes of OneDrive for a year with your Galaxy S6. So that's something uh, that I think will be very refreshing because we all know that Office apps actually been working pretty well and OneDrive does actually has a very good uh, reliability uh, function. So uh, with that in mind, I think we're gonna see Microsoft apps um, pre-installed on your Galaxy S6. And finally, number six, battery and wireless charging. Now because the device is going to be thinner and slimmer, we might actually have a slightly smaller battery. A lot of the rumblings are saying the battery might be slightly smaller and also we will not be able to swap out our batteries, which will be a very big change for most uh, Samsung users. If, starting from the original Galaxy line all the way to the Galaxy S5, you're able to swap out the battery. But because of some of the design changes I've mentioned, I think that won't be the case, which brings us to two things. So we're probably, uh, Samsung is definitely gonna continue with its uh, quick charge, uh, the Qualcomm quick charge, or at least that quick charge technology, uh, um, even though they're using a Qualcomm chip. Uh, so that gives you the ability to charge your device in under um, in 10 minutes to up to about 50%. So you can have a, uh, your device running constantly for you. And also we're gonna see wireless charging. I think this is the first time we'll see wireless charging built in without a wireless charging back cover you need to replace with. And I think we're gonna get a faster wireless charging module that should give you faster charge times altogether. So that's pretty much it for all the things I think you will see in the Samsung Galaxy S come March 1st. I think Samsung is going to try and reinvent and shape their device in something that will be very useful. We're going to see better performance, a streamlined operating system, Microsoft Productivity Suite in there, a better camera um, on on the device, um, as well as also wireless charging um, in there. And of course, Samsung Pay, which is what I'm gonna call it, I think really revamp and push people forward to saying, hey, you know, the Galaxy S6 might be that device for me. I'm not sure if it's gonna be waterproof or not, but what I want to do is I wanna hear your thoughts. It's gonna be March 1st when the device is gonna be launched and we're gonna be at Mobile World Congress giving you first hands-on look at what the Galaxy S6 will actually look and feel like altogether. So with that in mind, what do you think you guys are gonna to expect to see in the Galaxy S6? Are there, are there the things I mentioned? Are there things that you think will be there? Uh, let me know, put your comments down in the description. Uh, otherwise guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video and favorite this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Thunder E saying thank you and Always enjoy your entertainment.